Oh, speaking of which, uh, the next time you eat a banana, yeah, I'll look for the one with holes in it. Anywhere inside. Anywhere inside. And these are the lips that can't help calling your name in the middle of the night. Oh, and here is the man who needs to know where you stand. Don't you know I've done all I can? So decide. Oh, What's going on, everybody? Welcome to this week's edition of Show and Tell. With us today is my good buddy Mike. How you doing, buddy? Good. <laughs> He's a baker. <laughs> Tell us all about the mead, Mike. So, um, product placement. Um, <laughs> this is uh, it's called Viking Blood. It's a uh, it's a it's a Dansk. Dansk. Dansk mead. It's a Nordic mead wine with hibiscus and hops added. It's uh, based on a recipe from 1700. I'm reading the bottle. Uh, I'm by no means sponsored by them, but I would like to be. <laughs> Fun fact, actually, it's actually super good for you. Yeah, Jake, take take another drink there. I will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mind if I do. Oh, that is really good. Yeah, that is really good. So, what do you actually have for us today, my dude? So I brought two things. We'll get to the bigger one later. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I brought <laughs> I brought uh, my airsoft guns. Or the two main ones that I use every time I go out. This is a WE unlicensed Glock, custom made, sort of. It's like a custom line of like fancy cosmetic ones that they did. Mm -hmm. um, with texturized grip, bunch of engravings, some language that sort of looks like Daedric to me. I got it from Commando's Airsoft Guns down in Roseville, uh, right off of Garage, right by 696. Right. They've always been really solid for me, at least. I personally love this pistol. It's super reliable. Bought the long clip for it. Because I have <laughs> you to. need the long one. It's a Glock. It's a Glock. It's not full auto, which is a shame. Right. For the long clip, but it'll do the job. It does the job just great. <laughs> this thing's pretty sick, man. It's just... <laughs> just... They are both double stacked, so yeah, it ends up holding about like 15 more than that guy. That's crazy. <laughs> you go big, you go home. Right. So that That's guy's tough. that guy's fun. But yeah, help yourself, of course. I brought it. So this is a primary rifle that I use when I go and play. Um, this is my Amoeba M4 series. I also purchased this from Commandos Airsoft Guns over on Gratiot Avenue. Mm -hmm. Shameless plug. However. Maybe not so shameless here in a minute. <laughs> okay. So when I bought this gun, oh wait, yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, which, which, which Jake knows, because yeah. I do play airsoft with him. It worked beautifully <clears throat> for a while. the first day I had it, <laughs> and after that, it's been about six to eight months of shit, of absolute shit, trying to get this thing to work. Yeah. I got the piston replaced barrel in it, which is where this guy comes in, which I'll get to. I put a new hop-up in it, which is that blue guy in there, uh, which I'll get to. I can break this gun apart just as easily as the 1911. So, that being said, it is no fault of them, because I bought it off the floor and bought it used. But yeah, no, like once I got this thing working, this thing has been an absolute dream to play with. It does have a laser as well. Hey. It has a green laser. And if you notice, I flip these guys off. Um, you guys can't see the laser anymore. So what these covers do is they're actually infrared covers. Neat. So um, that is cool. So what I can do is like if I'm playing an indoor game or in a scenario like this, I can have the laser on and it'll work just fine. Mm -hmm. The cool thing about this gun is it does say 70 and 3 round burst. <coughs> with this gun being so heavy as it is already with the attachment setup that I have on it, um, it makes the gun a bitch to carry. You know what, Mike? I think there's only one thing left to do. You thinking what I'm thinking? 
I'm assuming we're gonna go shoot guns? Yes. Let's go. I haven't seen Mike in two days. Uh, I've been running out here on my own. Less. Two days, because I haven't seen Mike in that long. Can't stay here for too long. We're gonna have to keep moving. Mike? Mike? Yeah. How long have you been there? Okay. How'd you get here? You got it, Mike. And we're back. All right, Mike, it has been a blast. Thank you a lot for bringing in your guns, showing us what's what. Great having you on the show, man. Thank you, appreciate it. I do have an Instagram page if you guys are interested. Uh, Fire Team Odin on Instagram. You'll see pictures of Jake as well. Uh, another quick shameless self-promotion. Um, <laughs> uh, I do DJ as well. Uh, if you're interested in hearing what I do in my spare time when I'm not playing airsoft or at work, uh, follow me on Instagram at Tyrannus underscore producer. Alright, with that being said, there's only one thing left to do.